Uh-huh. That'll teach you a lesson. Ready to lie down now? <sighs> Thanks for helping to stabilize the patients. Your assertive sedation techniques are quite effective. Assertive sedation techniques? Uh, does she mean beating people up? However, these Cloud Knights were already sick, and now they're injured too. I've got to bandage up their wounds, realign their bones. Ugh, as if I didn't have enough on my plate! Where did you come from, little one? Is your dad around? I don't have a dad. Uh, what about your mom? I don't have a mom either. Uh, I get it. You think because I'm small, it must be a runaway child. <laughs> Welcome to the Xian Show, my short-lived outsider friends. Appearances can be deceiving here. The Vidyadara race is self-reincarnating. No mom or dad required. I've been studying the art of healing ever since I cast off my old shell. You're looking at a recognized, practicing, dedicated doctor. Bellabog kids are making snowmen, while children here are writing prescriptions. Things haven't been very peaceful in the Lawful recently. Make sure you don't... <laughs> ...go running around, right? Well, your general gave us an errand, so I'm afraid we have to. Well, seeing as you saved me just now, if you're unlucky enough to acquire any breaks or sprains, I'll treat you for free. As for medicine, I'll give you a 20% discount. Ha! Do you have any idea how many people in the law floor are waiting for an appointment with me? You should count this as a blessing. If I hadn't left my purse at home, I wouldn't have to... <laughs> Enough of that. I have patience to see. Our little miracle worker seems very different from everyone else around. <laughs> Don't you think, Mr. Yang? So this is the Vidyadara. I've only ever read about them. They're known as the Dragon Race. Not hard to see why. 